Hello, my name is Jane Paparicio, part of the Opinion Development Team, and today I'm here to talk to you about Opinion Video App, an app that allows you to view videos inside the e-learning system. I'll be bypassing the installation process. To install the app, you can simply go to Apps, click on the Video, inst video App, and install. Once you install the app, you should go to Configuration Video, and there you can, fig con you can configure the video app. <clears throat> you have settings such as automatically start video buffering, and also conversion settings. In this case, we won't use the conversion, so we will be disabling the FFmpeg converter. For each individual file type, you can select your own video player. We ship with VideoJS, so by default, all file types are associated with the VideoJS player. So once you configure your video settings, if you go inside a course, for example, if you go to settings, you'll see that you have a new tool, the video tool. If you select it, <coughs> now you have a new tab under your course the video tab. If you click on it, here you can see that you can add videos. You click add a new video. Can, let's give it a title, body field. <clears throat> Now you can see that there is a video field. You select a video, hit upload, and you, we just wait a bit for the video to be uploaded. You can also see that you have settings here for associating the video with a particular course or not, and also group visibility. If the video will be viewable for everyone or just for the me members of the group. Okay, so now the video has finished uploading, so here is the video. The video tool also installs a field. Now I'm going to show you how to add this video field to another content type, a slide in this case. You just go to Structure, Content Types, Slide, Manage Fields.
here you select add an existing field now you just select the open new video field give it a name and there you go Now if we go to the course that we already have here, then inside lessons, we already have a testing lesson. If we click on it, we go to manage questions to add a slide to this lesson. Click create new question slide. Just give it some contact. We can see that we have the video field here. We just upload the video. Now if we go take the quiz, it should appear inside our slide, the video. Oh, but in this case it's not showing up. What we have to do is go to settings, content type, slide and change the teaser display. As we can see, it's currently hidden. If we drag it to the display part, hit save.
Now if we try taking the lesson again, we'll see that we can actually see the video inside the slide. Here it is. Notice that in this case we duplicated the content. We have we had to upload two videos. What I'm going to show you now is how to add the video using the existing video, the first one that we uploaded. We will do this by using the WYSIWYG. If we go to configuration, WYSIWYG profiles. Here we add the button to add a video. We also have to edit the text format, in this case to remove the WYSIWYG filter. If we go text formats, we remove the WYSIWYG filter. We recommend creating a new type of text format because this has some security implications and you should only give the administrator the ability to bypass the WYSIWYG filter. Now we go back to our slide. We remove the video we previously added in the field and we go to the WYSIWYG and we add the video. Now we just save it. If you go take again, the video should be there. There it is. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be bringing you more opinion videos.